guys. What's up, Virgo? Thanks for watching. Appreciate it. So we're going to do a reading for the month of August. We're going to break it down week by week so you can have a heads up of what's coming up. We'll also look at two situations for each week. We're going to get some oracle around the month ahead of what you need to know. So I will timestamp it below so you can come back to it throughout the month. All right, Virgo. So first we're going to grab some oracle. We're going to see around the love energy what you need to know. You can also check out the blog down below to get a little bit more heads up for the month ahead. Uh, you can also find information if you like a personal reading. All right, so around love, you got addiction, unhealthy attachment, Oh, sorry, attachment to unhealthy behaviors or substances. You also have gold digging, interested in financial gain, and then you have the future, becoming clear about your vision of the future. So maybe it's, uh, yeah, see, leveling up, this connection is moving to the next level, kind of figuring some things out, more of a, you know, things may have been rough, but going into that mode of how to fix it all right so virgo from their angels and ancestors for the month of august what does virgo need to know please you have animal guardian trust your instincts virgo for the month of august you also have stargazer set your sights higher Virgo month of August, please. And heart guardian. Love and let yourself be loved. All right, let's grab the moon energy around Virgo for the month of August, please. Month of August. You got moon and Scorpio. Negative attitudes and fiery arguments are possible at this time. Channel your energy into positive physical activities like decorating or gardening. Virgo for the month of August. Hair. It is an auspicious time for new beginnings. Especially with becoming uh, clear about visions of the future. That's a nice energy to have the auspicious time of new beginnings. All right, so Virgo, let's look at the month ahead week by week. Again, two situations for each week. Remember that the energies can always be reversed. So flip it how you need to. Remember, it's a general reading, so just take what's yours. Leave the rest behind. If it does resonate, please make sure that you like and subscribe below. Also, if you'd like to contact me for a personal reading, again, that's below as well. Make sure you check out the blog. It's for uh, Earth Energy, but it definitely looks like a, a situation that you changed from the past could um, kind of creep itself back around. All right, so Virgo, month of August. We have the Page of Cups, the Ten of Cups, the Chariot, Cancer, Energy, the Nine of Swords, the Eight of Swords. Somebody gets stressed the fuck out. Just um, also, side note, around traveling, especially if, oh, this is paranoia on someone's part. Um, oh my gosh. All right. First of all, I was trying to say, if you're traveling, make sure your car or whatever like it's good to go because there could definitely could be some car issues here but what's crazy is we have like all this kind of pushing forward pushing forward then we hit this nine of swords eight of swords seven of swords queen of swords so you could be dealing with the um with the air sign or have that placement in your chart but it feels like by the end of the month like something here you're not trusting your second guess and it's got you stressed out we'll see what that seven of swords is because when it's surrounded about around all these other swords it's coming across as something that you are not trusting at all 
So by the end of the month, we're kind of in contemplation mode. We went from the Page of Cups, which you could be dealing with a water sign, um, but it doesn't have to be. But the Page of Cups is like lovey-dovey, affectionate, sometimes shy, sweet, an apology, something like that. And then this changes to a whole lot of anxiety. All right, month of August for Virgo. I keep seeing these same cards while I'm shuffling. All right, yeah, for some, if you're traveling or something, there could be some delays or setbacks. Trust in yourself and your abilities at all times. Self-love is key. And it may be that that's where you kind of focus because it kind of feels like there's a situation that like either has came to a crossroads or somebody is just like, I will see. All right, so for the first week of August, you got the Page of Cups and the Ten of, Ten of Wands. So we're starting out with the sweet, lovey, kind of shy, energy, creative. Depends on which, you know, which way it's going to resonate. But it, it is challenging at the same time. But effort is there. It's not easy though. Show me that page of cups, please, for Virgo. You got the wheel. And the eight of pentacles. Yeah, you're working. You're working your ass off towards achieving a goal. But it looks like something may kind of come, come up here along the way. Um, putting in the work, putting in the effort, growing, expanding. You got the wheel there on your side, which is fate, destiny, good luck. Show me that Ten of Wands for the first week as well for Virgo. Over there is good. That's, that's like working, like I said, towards literally work or towards achieving something. You got the Hermit, the Tower. There's just a lot of like boost to try to work towards something give me one show me that hermit for the first week i'm interested to kind of to see where all this is coming in i would check oh there's that seven of swords which is here two weeks later Feels like there's something that you're struggling to trust over there but it does look like you're trying why is the seven of swords there the Seven of Swords can be a liar, cheater, thief energy. And it feels like the High Priestess. There, I remember it's a general reading, but there definitely could be some secrets around something or something that you're really struggling to trust. Trust your intuition. Because it's possible that this Ten of Wands, it could be, yeah, see there's that Page of Cups, the Devil. You know, a non-committal energy. Somebody who's in and out. It could even be like a drinking energy or something like that. But it feels like um, you have the same cards kind of coming in line. You're struggling to trust something there. Show me that chariot, please, for the second week. You got some guards up here. You got the Nine of Wands. So with the Nine of Wands, it's... That's like the Wounded Warrior card, right? It's down, but not out. And the week before, we had the Ten of Wands. So now the Nine of Wands. Things are almost like equally intense, waiting for something to come to fruition. With the Knight of Pentacles, the Nine of Wands, and the Chariot, A, make sure you're not overdoing it around work because it's almost like a burnt out energy. Things are, but you're, you're also skeptical here because um, there may be something here that you are, you're not moving towards because it's like it, it a may be requiring you to take a leap of faith but also with the fool it's it's almost like if it doesn't make sense it's not true you're, you're not trusting something here but over here things are moving forward um slowly but surely because you're skeptical you're kind of taking it one day at a time yeah see the Nine of Swords is clarifying the Nine of Swords and the Two of Wands. Choices, decisions. It's got you worried here. Or, I mean, it could be the person that you're dealing with, but this is stress. This is anxiety. This is losing sleep. 
why is the nine of swords there and whoever this is this may kind of hit as like the type of anxiety that like somebody feels physically you got the justice card libra energy the justice is all about fairness and balance and equality and it looks like that's what you're trying to move towards but you're worried around that all right show me that eight of swords for the third week for virgo so the eight of swords i mean yeah it's all coming back to you're kind of going into protective mode of your heart here because now the week before we had the nine of swords and the justice um we're kind of worried about something like i said balancing out working itself out being that equal give and take and it's still the same thing here the next week with the six of pentacles you can see the scales right there but it may feel like things are are divided or for some it's around a third party like an external factor with that type of energy yeah see somebody kind of be on the fence things are still up in the air Whereas before we had the two of wands ready to move forward and kind of work things out. Things are still in like this limbo energy. For some, I mean, around relationship, you're worried about a third party. Or somebody's kind of worried about making a decision because the same energy is there with the two of pentacles. And the two of pentacles next week. Show me that seven of swords for the third week, please, for Virgo. Yikes. You got the five of swords. I don't think I no longer... I was given this just trying to worry. But this right here, I mean, this is something that may kind of, at times, make you so mad like it takes you out your element. This is a lion energy. The seven of swords and the five of swords... Um, be mindful of where you're giving your energies. There could be some hurtful things that are said. Oh, shoot. Yeah, the strength card could be dealing with the Leo. Show me this Two of Pentacles for the um, fourth week for Virgo. The Four of Swords. Well, that's good. Four of Swords is healing. It's feeling like a sense of calmness because the week before we had the Three of Swords. It doesn't feel like the greatest, the same Ten of Wands we started with. And the word, meditate, if this is you stressing like this. Meditate. Heal. Yeah, see, the Five of Pentacles. There, This is... It goes back to the same week, something not working itself out. So when one side gets focused on the other side, it's like, what about me? The Five of Swords, I mean, the Five of Pentacles, somebody could ghost. Um, I mean, even theft is possible here. I, would, I wouldn't, just um, no judgment for me, but that could go bad. This just leaves things topsy-turvy all month. Show me that Queen of Swords for the last week. This is why you're protective of your heart. The Ace of Pentacles and the Two of Cups. Well, don't you know that opportunity comes towards you? If you're open towards it, and we go right back to that lovey-dovey energy, mutual love, mutual feelings, kind of a reconnect. This is going to work itself out in divine timing, but um, there's an opportunity coming. Shit, the Knight of Cups uh, that you're you're waiting for like the whole damn month. Um, and it could be around career or work, but it will come, but that wheel can't be rushed. It's going to come towards the end of the month. Around whatever this, there, there may be a reason for all the worry. And it's almost kind of like, I know this kind of sucks, so I'm sorry. But it's almost like that weighs on someone pretty much the whole damn month. Or the first four weeks. August is a little bit of a long one. Alright, Virgo. I hope this helped. If it resonated, please make sure that you like and subscribe below. 
If you guys like to contact me for a personal reading, that information is below as well. You guys take care and I will see you next time. Bye.